video, I'm going to be giving my regular wheels a really deep clean before I get ready to put them in storage for winter. I'm probably going to still run on these for a couple more weeks, but I just don't know how much longer I'll have the running water outside so I can really clean them. Um, the temperatures are starting to get into the freezing uh, zone, so I won't be able to wash them outside um, in the next few weeks. So I just wanted to get this taken care of today. Um, just like the title says, this is how I clean my wheels. Um, I'm not a detailing guy. I'm not saying that this is like absolutely the definitive way to do it. This is just how I do mine, so I'll just uh, take that for what it's worth. So let's get right into it. So today poses a little bit of a unique challenge because obviously it's raining and in order to clean this and use the different sprays that I want to use, I need to be able to rinse the stuff onto the driveway but at the same time, I don't want my expensive camera and stuff to get messed up by the rain. So I'm kind of like on this uh, threshold of half in the driveway, half in the garage. Let's try to make this work. I'll start with the tires. Tires are manufactured with an anti ozonant which slows down the oxidation of rubber and prevents the tires from cracking or dry rotting. Over time, the stuff will seep up to the surface, turning your tires a brownish orange color. Using a special tire cleaner and a scrub brush, we can get these tires looking like new. I've heard of center caps being damaged by certain wheel cleaners and I'm not sure if this is the case with Adams, but I'll pop these out just for good measure. Adams wheel cleaner is a little different from the standard off the shelf wheel soap that you'll find in most stores. It reacts to iron particles from your brake dust that can get embedded in the surface of the wheel. Just keep in mind this is a chemical reaction and it will give off some fumes. It smells like skunk so just be ready for it. What I like about this wheel cleaner is that it turns purple as it reacts to iron, so you can actually see it working. It's a lot like Stonex, which I've used in the past. I live in an area that's constantly under construction, and as a car enthusiast, one of the most annoying sounds is when you drive over like some tar patch, and like the next two miles down the road, you just hear like ting, 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 like all these little rocks that get stuck inside your wheels, they get stuck in your fenders. It's super annoying and they're kind of hard to remove, so I'm going to try to use some clay bar and see how much of these little rocks I can get out. The inside of this barrel is looking pretty good, except for right here. There's like a straight up glob of tar and I couldn't get it off with the clay bar so I'm going to try uh, using a little bit of goo gone just in this little area and I'll just see if that uh, gets it off. Try to break down that tar a little bit. I'm going to finish it off with some tire shine. It gives the tires a deep black look and should keep the outer rubber hydrated. I'll apply some more once I'm ready to store these. Alright, so one last tip for you guys, something that I started doing recently is if you have these uh, matte finish wheels like these, these are a matte powder coat and sometimes they kind of look dry, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but what I do is I take a little bit of tire shine. You're not going to be like drenching the wheel or spraying it right on there, but I'll put a little bit on a cloth like this and wipe down the wheel and it really brings out the depth of the color. So I'll show you what that looks like.
All right, well that pretty much wraps up my wheel cleaning process. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the other three wheels and I'm gonna go try to take some pictures for Instagram with the fall colors and everything. You guys can follow me on there, at Justin Bice. And then of course, um, I'll link all these products down below in case you wanna check them out on Amazon. Uh, now just full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Adams or anything. Um, I bought all these with my own money, but by all means, if you guys have different products that you like to use, feel free to recommend them in the comments below. I'm always open to trying new things, so uh, leave a comment, or let me know what you think about that. So I'm gonna take some photos. Thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.